Climate change, a hot topic on people's minds. In the dim glow of Earth Hour in cities around the globe, we had the chance to imagine ourselves as a world community acting together to change our future. I think it goes to show that if you do try and do something as a group of people collectively, that you can make a difference. Dobbiamo fare qualcosa per il pianeta, altrimenti verrà distrutto. The first city to mark the energy saving hour was Christchurch, New Zealand, where Supreme Master Television went on location to join the celebration. The bells are ringing from the cathedral to call everyone to the square to participate. The film, The Eleventh Hour, is about to begin. The mayor is going to be speaking in a few minutes. Are you ready? In 2003, the American Geological Union issued a position statement that said the Earth's climate is now clearly out of balance and is warming. Many components of the climate system are now changing at rates and in patterns that are not natural and are best explained by the increased atmospheric abundances of greenhouse gases and aerosols generated by human activity during the 20th century. This statement was confirmed again last year. The worldwide lights out movement gives us a chance to reflect on our individual relationship with a global problem. This is Supreme Master TV and we are here in the heartlands of Singapore where residents of Pangol have turned off their lights in support of Earth Hour. This event was graced by the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Minister George Yeo, and supported by over 400 students up across three schools. We have to begin with young people and it's good that tonight's event was initiated by them. And they've organized themselves with tremendous enthusiasm. I hope to spread and involve all the youth of Singapore. Scientists assure us that the solution lies in simple shifts in action as an organization or an individual. Transportation causes approximately 13.5% of the world's greenhouse gas emissions. So I take the bus to work. I try to walk as often as I can. I always try to carpool with friends. Yet even greater than transportation, as a carbon emitter is the undeniable role played by the modern meat industry. Experts say the best solution is the immediate adoption of a plant-based diet. Yeah, to, to uh, slow down the global warming, uh, I think, uh, and uh, of course the IPCC realized that uh, the most effective and uh, in terms of time, okay, is to conserve energy, okay? To conserve energy, and uh, we, uh, we all know is, uh, the food is a form of energy because uh, it takes about 10 times grain uh, to produce uh, per unit uh, meat. So eating meat is a very inefficient way of uh, uh, taking in food. So it's, uh, it's a good thing we, we turn to vegetarian. Okay, that way. Whenever I have the option, I'll always eat vegetarian. Um, I think it's healthy for you and it's also good for the environment and for our world right now. The energy sector is seeking new sustainable technologies and businesses like this hotel in New Zealand are eager to adopt. Now, a building management system gives us the ability to uh, control the air handling units and heat uh, recovery systems in the hotel. So far, with the system, we've been able to reduce our energy consumption by 36% better than the best practice levels. Um, in the service areas, as you can see, um, we use fluorescent uh, tube lighting. Perhaps the most important thing to keep in mind is the truth that climate change is already affecting our brethren around the globe, some more than others. On Friday, March 28, the United Nations Security Council passed a resolution officially making climate change a human rights issue. And the Earth, we have to take care of it so it can take care of us. We congratulate everyone who contributes to saving the lives of all species on this planet by practicing one sustainable living in energy, transportation and a vegetarian diet. Just as the world rally triumphantly for this year's Earth Hour, we pray that our generation's time will become the finest hour of human history.